The year 2023 has been a significant one for the bikey world of Australia. It witnessed many important events and triggered several episodes in various motorcycle clubs across the country. The year played host to a series of pivotal events that ignited intense drama within numerous motorcycle clubs nationwide. From Comancheros to Rebels and from Hells Angels to Lone Wolves, many were involved. The outcomes of these events led to some clubs altering their structure and leadership, while others were observed losing their grip. The narrative unfolded with a tragic crescendo, encompassing heart-wrenching deaths, chilling murders, forceful deportations, and the gripping drama of arrests. The year 2023 in the bikey world showcased a riveting spectacle that seized headlines, creating a whirlwind of emotions and discussions on the internet, and certainly on the Grid Sparta YouTube channel. Here are the top events of 2023 in the bikey world that made news and stirred motion on this channel. Commencing the year 2023, the initial major news to capture headlines on this channel was the arrest of Alan Meehan, the national president of the Comancheros. He was apprehended in Queensland for violating serious crime prevention orders and subsequently extradited to Sydney. His arrest was marked by a public display, with a parade at the airport. The next big news was about a Comanchero bikey who deflected over from Rebels MC and was found dead at a luxury resort in Western Australia. The body of Jason Kemp 39, was discovered floating face down in the private pool of a villa at the Pearl of Cable Beach on Saturday 11th of February 2023. The death was deemed non-suspicious by the police. The next significant development in the crime world unfolded with the release of Gavin Capable Preston. Known as a notorious gangland figure, Preston had served almost 11 years in prison for the shooting death of notorious drug dealer Adam Court. Released in April 2023, the 50-year-old's newfound freedom took a dark turn when tragically, he was shot dead in September of the same year. The shocking incident occurred while Preston was having breakfast at a local cafe, highlighting the unexpected and grim twists that can characterize the world of crime. Adding to the astonishment in the bikey world, another piece of news emerged in May 2023 when high-ranking Bonditos bikey Jason Fahey, patched over to Hells Angels MC. This move marked a significant transformation in Sydney's bikey scene as the powerful Hells Angels extended their influence in the city. Following this news, Raptor Squad targeted bikies in a two-weeks-long operation named as Operation Patch. Operation Patch was carried out from Wednesday 24th of May to Thursday June 1st 2023, in suburbs of Five Dock, Westmead, Earlwood, and Wiley Park. During the operation, officers attached to Raptor Squad searched Fahey, and his pictures with the squad were a hit on Instagram and other social media platforms. The next big news for the year came in July 2023, when the infamous underworld kingpin, Alan Meradian was gunned down in Sydney shootout. The incident occurred at Spring Street in Bondi Junction, at an underground car park. Meradian, 48, was ambushed by two assailants and killed. The police who were informed of the incident rushed to the spot and saw the cocaine lord lying on the road in a pool of blood. His funeral was held at Greenfield Park, where various bikey figures from across the country gathered to pay their respects to the fallen figure. The next big news came in August when it was reported that a Spanish bikey has risen to the top of the powerful outlaw motorcycle gang's international ranks, taking over from Australian Mark Buttle who was arrested in northern Cyprus and is in custody facing drug charges. It was reported that there is a new world commander of the Comanchero Bikey Club, Alex Varela. Pictures of the newly appointed world commander swiftly dominated Facebook and other social media platforms, marking a notable change in the leadership dynamics of the outlaw motorcycle gang. In September last year, a viral video surfaced, shedding light on the Lone Wolf Bikey Club. 
This video was linked to the charging of three senior members of the Lone Wolf Bikey Club by Raptor Squad detectives under Strike Force Searle. An investigation into the supply and manufacture of methamphetamine by members and associates of the Lone Wolf MC. In a targeted operation, officers conducted raids on several properties in Hebersham and St. Clair, approximately 50 kilometers west of Sydney's CBD. The dramatic events unfolded as the heavily tattooed national president of the organized crime group, Medhat Mankarias, was escorted out of his St. Clair residence by police. He emerged clad only in a robe and garishly colored swim trunks, creating a scene that captured public attention. Next major news came from Perth, when Jamie Ginn, the 50-year-old president of the Rebels MC, passed away on October 10, 2023, while in custody at the Perth Watch House. His arrest on charges related to drugs and firearms led to a tragic turn of events when he reportedly suffered a seizure. Despite the swift efforts of first responders, Ginn could not be revived, and he died in police custody at the Police Watch House on Fitzgerald Street in Northbridge. Ginn was apprehended at a Nongara property for violating a firearm prohibition order. On November 2, 2023, Turkish Interior Minister Ali Yerlikaya made a significant announcement, revealing the successful disruption of an international criminal organization. This operation resulted in the arrest of Australia's most wanted criminal, Hakan Aik, aka the Big Hux, a prominent fugitive wanted in Australia for drug smuggling, along with 36 other suspects in Istanbul. Hakan Aik also known as the Big Hux or Hakan Race was the most wanted man in Australia, and this arrest is the biggest arrest in Australia's organized crime and bikey history. This news was also a major hit on the social media and mainstream media platforms. In December last year two bikey-related news stories quickly gained traction. First one was the deportation of criminal mastermind Masood Zakaria to Australia. A joint operation between Turkish and Australian authorities brought an end to this elusive game of cat and mouse. The result, was another big win for the Australian Federal Police, as similar scenes at the AFP office rekindle media interest, and this time, the focus was on Alamedine crime figure Masood Zakaria. Zakaria 28, was deported by Turkish authorities and landed in Darwin on 3rd of December 2023, where he was arrested by members of the AFP's Transnational Offshore Disruption Task Force. The second viral video in December, was about Australia's most tattooed bikey and former Hells Angels Sergeant-at-Arms, Dane Brakovich, who was once again making headlines after chaos erupted on Friday night, December 8, 2023, where Brakovich became the central figure in a violent clash that unfolded at the Ministry of Sound concert in Kings Park and Botanic Gardens in Perth. This time, however, he was on the receiving end of the violence. The menacing notorious bikey found himself at the center of a brutal stabbing, a targeted act of retribution that left him clutching his throat in shock. Images of Dane with bandages around his neck quickly circulated across various social media platforms like Wildfire. This was a concise overview of significant bikey events featured on this channel throughout 2023. From the arrest of Alan Meehan to the patching over of Jason Fahey, and the shocking murders of Alan Moradian and Kevin Preston, these stories provided a glimpse into the dynamic and often tumultuous world of motorcycle clubs and organized crime groups. Hope you enjoyed the work we put in last year. Please comment, share, like and consider subscribing. Your support allows us to continue delivering content that keeps you informed and engaged. Thanks for being part of Grid Sparta community.